but you made, you, you made an important question, uh, which is how successful has been the president's fight on corruption? And the reason I say it's an interesting question is because everybody seems to think that the fight against corruption is the president's fight. It isn't. It is a fight by all of us because all of us must take part and all of us must take a very serious part in the fight against corruption. The president has a role to play in that. And I would say he's done what he could have done in the circumstances because he's brought out the names of the people, some of them very close to him, that uh, he made to step aside because of the corrupt corruption allegations against them. And uh, he's not taken back them back to his cabinet. He has not taken anybody back to his cabinet, I mean, since that list of shame. But then you must remember that we are operating under very different circumstances, under a new constitution, which quite clearly sets out the various independent uh, bodies of this government and the work that they have to do. We have independent commissions. We have, we can immediately talk about the uh, EACC, we can talk about the courts, and you can even talk about the DCI, the Director of Criminal Investigations. All these are extremely independent people. And the president can recommend or give names to them because he's satisfied that there are corrupt practices against certain people because of the evidence that is there. But once he's done that, like he did in 2015, in, in the state of uh, uh, nation address that he did, and he gave out, out so many names of people that were suspected to have been involved in corrupt practices, he did what he had to do. But he gave directions to the independent commissions and bodies in the government. What has happened? I don't know why people con continue to blame the president about these things, because people must start by appreciating that on 27th of uh, August 2010, we had a new constitution. And it said that you cannot interfere with the work of these people. So sometimes I think we expect too much from the president. We expect him to break the constitution uh, so that he can be seen to be the president. We expect, expect him to do certain things. But every time a lot of these matters have gone to court, for instance, you've seen the courts reversing what the president has directed. You've seen parliament itself reversing the presidential appointment. You've seen matters going to the DPP and him saying there is not sufficient evidence to charge this person. I mean, I think sometimes you expect too much okay. from a president in the current uh, constitutional dispensation.